On July 3rd, His Honor Ronald Benjamin sentenced four men to His Majesty's prison on multiple drug possession and importation charges. The charges were previously laid following a major drug find by local authorities on a cargo boat MV Elizabeth C at the St. Kitts Deepwater Port on October 4, 2022. The contraband consisted of cocaine and cannabis. The cocaine registered a weight of 801.3 kilograms with a street value of $71,369,100. The cannabis had a street value of $140,160. The charges and prison sentences are as follows. Salim Kevin Ali of Trinidad was sentenced to three years for possession of cannabis with intent to supply and three years for the importation of cannabis. His sentences are set to run concurrently at His Majesty's prison. Peter Oliver Scotland of Trinidad was sentenced to five years and four months for the possession of cocaine with intent to supply, five years and four months for the importation of cocaine, and five years and four months for the possession of cocaine. His sentences are set to run concurrently at His Majesty's prison. Michael Javan Jack of Trinidad was sentenced to three years for the importation of cannabis, three years for the possession of cannabis with intent to supply. His sentences are set to run concurrently at His Majesty's prison. Desu McFarlane of Kariakou was sentenced to eight years and four months for possession of cocaine with intent to supply, eight years and four months for the importation of cocaine, four years and ten months for the importation of cannabis, four years and ten months for the possession of cannabis with intent to supply, and eight years and ten months for the possession of cannabis. His sentences are set to run concurrently at His Majesty's prison. The Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force once again extends its gratitude and commendation to the St. Kitts Nevis Customs Enforcement Division and the St. Kitts and Nevis Defense Force Coast Guard Operational Division for their strong collaboration and stellar assistance in this matter. I'm Andre Huey for SKN Newsline.